<clears throat> to start off, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiant Booster Primer um, Base Illuminating Hydrating 24 Hour. And I'm going to, I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. I'm going to be comparing this foundation to this Rimmel one, which I actually love. You can see that I've used almost all of it. Um, this is the Match Perfection Foundation, Broad Spectrum 20, and this one has a broad spectrum of 20 as well. So I should probably, like it has a doe foot applicator, which isn't too shabby, but it's real thick. It's kind of a different shaped one. So I'm just going to apply it to half my face to start with so we can see. It kind of smells like the other one too. It doesn't have a bad smell. I'm, I hate, I'm a real stickler when it comes to scents to foundation. You will see that in an upcoming video. So it's a very um, natural finish foundation. It's not, um, I believe, I'm gonna try to build it up. So gotta be careful because a lot of product can come off on this and it can be kind of messy. I've already kind of spilled a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a little bit in the areas that I want some more coverage um, and we will apply it there. I'm only applying it on one half so that I can really get like a feel for how it looks in comparison. Yeah, very natural finish. I actually like how it's looking right now. It looks really, really nice. Um, like I would definitely wear this again and it is very much comparable to the Match Perfection. All right, so I applied it to the rest of my face. I'm gonna wipe my lips off because I hate how that looks. Um, I'm gonna use the, my uh, Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil in the shade um, Medium Brown. And I really do, I really like this pencil. I've used it quite a few times. I already have a video with me using it. I like it because I can just fill in the areas that I need to be filled in and not have any other fuss with it because um, I don't want to, I don't like to spend a lot of time on my brows because I already have some brows, so I don't need to make them any more emphasized than they are. I just like to kind of sculpt them, shape them. Okay, so I'm done with my brows and I just set them with the Maybelline Brow Drama. This, isn't my, this is not my favorite um, gel for my brows. I've just been using it up. I'm gonna go and start with my eyes. I'm gonna start with Milani eyeshadow primer. A lot of people seem to love this. Um, I don't really much see like a giant difference with this. It's pretty good. Um, but then again, I'm not really much of a I'm not too picky with eye primer. So let's just set my brows with this, and then I'm gonna kind of carve out my under eye, carve out my brows with it some concealer and a brush. You can also use a q-tip. I'll show you on one side how to use a q-tip so you don't have to dirty up your brush and then I'll also show you how to do it on a brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a q-tip and this is the um, this is the NYX Dark Circle um, Corrector in the shade. So I just dip my q-tip in there. So I just dip my q-tip in there. You can use your fingers and then just set this under your brow and then you can blend it away with your finger and the q-tip together. I like to do this trick so that I don't have to constantly clean concealer off of my um, brush. It also is a good way to kind of link out your eyelid. 
this is my personal concealer so I wouldn't recommend this on like a client but but and I'm gonna set my eyelids with the Maybelline fit me loose finish powder I just got this so it's new to me but not new to everybody else um, not because I use concealer but because it's not as thick as like a shadow especially like loose powders so like with same powder that you would set your under eye with set your lid with and then you can be good from there so I'm gonna set this powder aside because I will set my face with it later we're gonna move on to the Morphe 9a always golden palette nine shades um and this is what it looks like it's really nice it's got quite a bit of mattes in it so i am going to start with the lightest shade that's in this palette and it is called myself right here and i'm just going to take that on the take on this brush this dual fiber brush from real techniques and just apply this here in the crease I'm using this brush because I want this like to be really washed out. I'm going to take this crown brush. It's a C433. Um, and I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take Witness, which is the middle, middle shade and play that to the crease also. Take this color it's called Bruise. Um, it's like a dark, dark brown, not dark brown, very chocolatey brown. And take it just not on the tip, but on the side kind of, and really pat this on the outer, outer corner. And then we can blend later. And always remember blend as you go like you have to add a color blend it out add a color blend it out and blend it till you're satisfied with it because if you're just adding color on top of color and it's not blended it's just gonna look super weird now I'm gonna go into this color it's called aware and it's like um, a kind of a dark darky I don't know one of the darker orange colors and I'm going to kind of build that up and tap it off a little bit. Well, kind of a lot of it because I don't want to go in. Now I'm just going to take this and really blend it through the crease, like right here. So I can have that definition in the crease area. And once again, always have your washcloth with you. Um, I just wipe my brush up as I go so that I don't have any product if I want to continue blending. I don't blend more product in the areas that I don't want them. Okay, now I'm gonna take this um, Morphe G14 brush. Woo! Um, and this color, it's called Taken. It's kind of, I'm taking a limb, I'm going out on a limb here with this one. It's like a matte with some glitter in it, like a satin shade. Um, and place this on and then just kind of bring it inwards. Okay, now to finish it off, I'm gonna take Connection. It's this color here and take that same Morphe G14 brush. Now I'm going to take like a small, small, like almost like a concealer brush and take the color Prize. Um, I'm gonna take the color Surprise now and take that and build that. I like these shadows have like a thick layer over top of them. Okay, now to finish this off, I'm going to go back in with my face powder, um, and I'm going to take brush that's from All Natural, doesn't have a name, and place this underneath the brow and kind of blend it through, just so we can have a tiny bit of a highlight. I don't want to go too bright with it, and then I'm going to try to clean up the sides right here. 
Okay, for liner, I'm going to take the NYX, the... For liner, I'm going to take the Essence 2-in-1 eyeliner pen, the one with the thick and thin one. And I'm going to try the thick one today, see how I like it. Okay. I'm not liking this. <laughs> okay, so I applied my liner. This liner absolutely super sucks. The thick side um, is like the clearest of clear. I don't even know if you can see that. Like, look at that. It's like not even good. Let's see if I can get some. Even if you like try to press down, like it just comes off. So I ended up just using the thin side and that is not like majorly black either. So I kind of had to go over it a bunch of times. And then I realized that I have this liner from Revlon and I didn't even open it or use it. So that's my bad. But I applied lashes as I wiped my hand off. I applied lashes and I used the Ardell 117s here on right now. And I'm going to apply mascara. I'm going to do my, my Essence Get Big Lashes. I don't normally bake, but I'm going to try it today with this Maybelline powder and my Beauty Blender because I've never used this powder before. I'm going to contour with the um, chisel color from the um, Tarte Pro to Go, 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 I don't even know, Pro Glow to Go. And I am just taking this mineral brush, it's like a mineral, a brush that I got from a box. I don't really know what it's from, it just says mineral on it. I don't like to let my bake sit for very long because um, sometimes it can be a bit irritating. So I'm just going to go take like a fluffy brush and blend that away. And for blush, I've been really into these Milani um, rose blushes. And, and the one I'm going to take today is in the color Tea Rose, number eight. with a Coastal Scents Giant Blush Brush. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take this new Revlon blush and it's not for, highlight, for highlighter. I'm gonna take this new Revlon highlighter and it's just in the color Illuminator. Illuminator. I'm gonna take it with the e.l.f. Um, highlight blush. I can't even say it. The e.l.f. highlight brush. So I'm gonna just can take that um, highlighter on this highlighter brush from e.l.f. And let's see what we got with this. Um, pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. Um, yeah, nothing. Like, there's something there. It's really subtle. So maybe like an everyday highlighter. But for glam highlight, no. So I'm just going to leave it because, um, I don't know. It's not too bad. It's very subtle. So, I mean, if you're not looking for, like, Maybelline Master Chrome, then I think that that would be okay for you. It's not the cheapest highlighter in the drugstore. Um, I will list the price like right here, but um, it's high. It's pretty good for what you get. So for lips, I'm not thinking I want to do anything super bold, but I still want to lip pencil in peachy. So I'm just gonna apply this and then apply that lipstick. I'm gonna have to blend this out. I'm just going to take my finger to kind of diffuse it. I 
I'm going to take this um, NYC lipstick in the color Expedition Nude. So that is the end of this get ready with me with a couple new things that I had to play with. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help videos get noticed um, and get hit subscribe so that I know that I, people want me to make more videos. And without further, further ado, um, I'll let you guys go. Have a good one. Bye.